Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa. Today, I have a story for you called Traveling Seeds. And the author of the story is Rebecca Bolowski. If you haven't already listened to Rebecca's other story called Bacteria and to the interview that she did for us, be sure to watch that. And I've also linked the places where you can buy her books. As I was out and looking for cool things to do and see, I saw a greenish speckled pear hanging from a tree. The pear fell to the ground. An animal was walking round. She saw that treat laid at her feet and decided it was just the time to have something to eat. The cow went for a wander, swallowing the pear. The fruit went through her tummy. Cows have four parts to theirs. In poop, the pear came out and only the seeds remained. It rained. and a seed began to sprout. It's called germination. When a seed begins to grow, it needs warmth and water. It's something that's quite slow. And did you know the leaves grow up to see the sun? The roots grow down below. The little plant's a seedling. It has everything it needs. It grows into a giant tree from just a little seed. Blossoms come in springtime. Now the tree's a real beauty. But who would guess those little flowers would become something that's fruity? A pear grows from the flower. It grows till it gets fat, ripe and yummy on the tree. Can you imagine that? Who will eat this pear today? Will the seeds go for a trip? Will they go near? Will they go far? Where will they end up? Lots of animals like eating fruit, not just two or three. Who will take a bite today? It could even be me. That's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let's go plant a seed. Hold on. All right, little scientists, we're going to plant sunflower seeds. And I have two varieties. Do you see the two different types of sunflower seeds that I have? We're gonna try growing both. Let's see what happens. So you can do this at home too. Just remember to All right, so I think I'll, I'll put the white seeds here. And I'll give it some water. It'll be fun to see what comes out. I haven't planted sunflower seeds in years. Remember, you need some nice soil and water. And sunflowers need a lot of sunlight. They really like the sun. And since I have a few extra, I'll put some more right over here. white ones back in here. So 
Remember to find a nice sunny spot for these sunflower seeds. And we'll check back in a few weeks to see if they've grown. Sandier. We'll put some more black ones back here. All right, let's check back and see what happens.